Fidel Castro. He was a Cuban revolutionary leader and prime minister of Cuba. He was born on August 13, 1926, at Byron, Holguin Province, Cuba. His father's name was Angel Castro Y. Arges, and mother's name was Angela Maria Castro Ruz. Fidel was born on his father's farm. His father did not officially claim him as his son. While growing up, he went by the name of Fidel Ruz. Later, his father would marry his mother, and Fidel would change his last name to Castro. At the age of six, young Castro was sent to live with his teacher in Santiago de Cuba. As a child, he attended various schools, finally enrolling himself at the El Colegio de Bilan in Havana. Academically, Castro was just an average student, but he had a profound liking for sports and excelled in the same. He played for the school's baseball team. In 1945, Fidel entered law school at the University of Havana. From here he became involved in politics and protesting against the current government. He thought the government was corrupt and there was too much involvement from the United States. Castro's first wife was Myrta Diaz Ballard, whom he married on October 11, 1948, and together, they had a son. In 1952, Castro ran for a seat at Cuba's House of Representatives. However, that year General Fulgencio Batista overthrew the existing government and cancelled the elections. Castro began to organize a revolution. Fidel and his brother Raul tried to take over the government but were captured and sent to prison. He was released two years later. Castro did not give up, however. He went to Mexico and planned his next revolution. There he met Che Guevara, who would become an important leader in his revolution. They divorced in 1955. Castro and Guevara returned with a small army to Cuba on December 2, 1956. They were quickly defeated again by Batista's army. However, this time Castro, Guevara, and Raul escaped into the hills. They began a guerrilla war against Batista. Over time they gathered many supporters and eventually overthrew Batista's government on January 1, 1959. In July of 1959, Castro took over as leader of Cuba. Castro had become a follower of Marxism and he used this philosophy in creating a new government for Cuba. The government took over much of the industry. They also took control of many businesses and farms owned by Americans. Opposition to his rule was generally met with imprisonment and even execution. Many people fled the country. The United States tried several times to remove Castro from power. This included the Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961, ordered by President John F. Kennedy. In this invasion, around 1,500 Cuban exiles trained by the CIA attacked Cuba. The invasion was a disaster with the majority of the invaders captured or killed. After the Bay of Pigs, Castro allied his government with the Soviet Union. He allowed the Soviet Union to place nuclear missiles in Cuba that could strike the United States. After a tense standoff between the United States and the Soviet Union that nearly started World War III, the missiles were removed. Fidel married Dalia Soto del Valle in 1980. Together they had five sons. Castro's health began to fail in 2006. 
he would rule for nearly 50 years. On February 24, 2008, he handed the presidency of Cuba over to his brother Raul. He died on 26 November 2016 at the age of 90. A revolution is a struggle to the death between the future and the past, said Fidel Castro.